Now, this is completely unrelated, but you might have noticed that I posted some videos, some music videos on my uh, YouTube channel, on this channel, on this channel, on my YouTube channel. You can uh, you can click on my uh, on my YouTube username and uh, look at my channel, and uh, and you'll notice that I posted some videos. Uh, a uh, I posted the last 12 minutes of uh, the last episode of The Prisoner to uh, a soundtrack that is comprised of the first three songs of the Foles album Antidotes, plus like some other stuff, uh, a, a Kylie Minogue video but with a uh, Justice soundtrack put to it. Um, these are all weird synchronicity things that I found in the span of one day. It's very weird. Here's the story. While I was in my car, uh, delivering pizza, you know what I'm saying? No? Well, this symbolizes... Anyway, uh, I was in my car delivering pizza, and uh, I was listening to uh, this song by Justice called DVNO, and uh, I do this thing while I'm delivering pizza. I do this thing while I'm delivering pizza where I imagine where I visualized like music videos for the music that I'm listening to. Sometimes it's the band playing, sometimes it's imagery from movies. And while I was listening to DV while I was listening while I was listening to DVNO, uh <laughs> wonderful. Hilarious, huh? Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Actuality Update. I'm Gregory Michael Bauer as your host. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so while I was listening to this song DVNO, you can see me now. <laughs> while I was listening to this song DVNO, the this uh, the certain segment from a from this Kylie Minogue video "Can't Get You Out of My Head" came up because I'd watched the video recently because I was doing research for a film. Anyway, so. Uh, so I'd watched the video recently and I was listening to the song and I was like, ah, that shot where she does this and she's like gyrating or she's like bucking and dancing to the music, like grooving to it. That would go perfectly like uh, at this point in the song. And so I was, uh, I was compiling all of this imagery and I, I'd, uh, I was listening to the song and on a lark, I synced it up. Uh, I synced the song up. To, so that uh, the beginning of the song is uh, is playing during the black part or during nothing, and then as soon as the music kicks in, the video starts, and lo and behold, it syncs up perfectly, right? Weird. It reminds me of the Wizard of Oz, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon phenomenon, synchronicity thing, right? And so, uh, so I put that together, and it looks great. This was only after I put this makeup song to a certain segment of the old Batman TV series because I was watching uh, the Bat Tusi segment of the first episode of the Batman TV series and I'd listened to this makeup song recently and it was in my head and I thought, hey, that would go perfectly with this imagery. And so I synced it up and it's perfect. Then I did this DVNO video or this Justice video and it's perfect. Then I did this Foles video and it's perfect. So. Either A, it's just this weird random synchronicity weirdness, or all of these bands are so impressed by the Wizard of Oz, Dark Side of the Moon synchronicity thing that they themselves synced up their music to these particular video imagery projections. And I don't know what you're saying. Oh, well, it's not that impressive then that you stumbled upon this. No, it is because I don't know these bands. I don't know anybody in any of these bands. And so they didn't tell me, like, Oh, Greg, uh, hey, it's me, Ian Sinanonius of The Makeup. If you, if you uh, find the first episode of the old Batman TV series and uh, sync up this song to it, then it'll sync up perfectly and it'll be awesome. No, I just stumbled upon it. And then I stumbled upon this other thing. And then I stumbled upon this other thing. And so it's all weird, right? Like, have you watched all of the other videos? There's some weird shit going on in this universe. Uh, 45 or 50 or however many of you. There's about 45 people out there watching these videos. And I reckon that 
you guys are so bored and I guess disillusioned by what's on TV and in movies man movies really suck these days I mean they're fucking horrible like Inception like I could make I could make a better movie than Inception while like taking a shit like you know half asleep you know with a cold not that I you know really want to do that but anyway things certain things and when I say with a cold I mean like you know there's there's a certain uh, thing that's called a cold that they sell in stores I wouldn't look for it because I'm totally just talking out of my ass right now but I'm sinking I'm sinking up my mouth movements so that I'm like I'm lip syncing to my ass talking but I can feel my ass you know talking it's kind of weird I've eaten a lot of Mexican food Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, things are going on, but like, this is a USB drive that I that I have that I'm touching. You know, you'll get this actual one or others that I've touched, and uh, I'm blowing them out at nine thousand dollars a piece. Now, uh, the thing is, is that like when you get them, when you get it in the mail, you're gonna want to erase all of the files that I might have left on here by accident. Did I mention that I made all of these videos that are weird synchronicity like anomaly? It's... Some people would say that it's uh it's uh it's the machine. You know? My ability to work the machine. Anyway, I'm selling these things for nine thousand dollars. And uh I'm I'm wondering if, if uh if you people will understand exactly what that would here. Um uh, Let's see. What about this one? Alright, this one's Yoda. Check it out. Alright, and uh... Yeah. Right. Oh, hey! There's some things happening. Hold on. Alright, so this one's a little easier to see, you know. Mmm! Yes! Buy me for $9,000, you will! Oh, I'll put this on backwards. <laughs> yes! Yes! Strong! Something. I don't... Hold on. Yes! $9,000 is not too much to pay if you were some rich motherfucker out there. Mmm! Oh, I drive a Maserati! Mmm! <laughs> Hi. The things. Anyway, oh. <laughs> Anyway, things. Anyway, uh, so 9,000 bucks, huh? It's artwork. It's artwork. Alright? Now I know what you're thinking. 9,000 bucks? I was gonna buy, uh, you know, a, uh, some designer piece of clothing. awesome this is the makeup by the way anyway uh, you know oh, nine thousand dollars I was gonna buy this designer beach uh, cushion that I could sit on when I go to uh, the beach right oh it's a uh, it's a uh, it's designer it's only three three grand look for the price of three beach cushions you guys can get this uh, this USB flash drive that once was touched and owned by number one huh you know what I'm saying? Did I mention that the dream world is where people go when they die? Huh? I, I call the dream world the interim world. Because reincarnation is about to happen, everyone. But you see, there's a standardized system. It's mine. So, like, most people are like, reincarnation would never work. This is most people, by the way. Reincarnation would never work because you have all of the different religious power bases, you know, competing for control of the system of reincarnation, you know, the ultimate, the ultimate control system. But guess what? I run the ultimate control system. It's called proto? It's called neo-atheism. Alright, understand? So, $9,000 isn't too much money to pay for one of these, considering it's a USB flash drive that I 
am holding in my hand right now. It's, it's very hard to get these off sometimes. Um, but anyway, you know, mm, my head, I've been uh, uh, quasi decapitated. Mm, ah, help me. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, hey, um, uh, there's so much just like dream world trash right here, you know.